got our aloe vera leaf here. Uh, the best idea, the best plan is to clean your work surface and of course clean your material as best as you can. Soap and water is fine. Uh, that way you're just starting with clean hands, clean material, and um, a clean surface and clean equipment. Uh, the best knife to use for this sort of setup is a, uh, of course, a very sharp knife. And um, I've found a long and uh, very thin knife uh, makes for a good... Um, a good process cutting this thing apart because really what we're doing is we're filleting this aloe vera uh, plant. So first things first, what we're going to do is cut um, the top end and the bottom end off of the plant. As you can see inside the plant, this is the aloe vera flesh. This is the gel that we're after. This is the good stuff. Okay. So the next thing that makes this plant much easier to deal with is cutting the spines off. So you want to cut the spines off of each side. We'll do that now. Now that we have the spines cut off of our plant, it's much easier to work with. It's going to be far more comfortable. And the idea here is that now we're going to cut the top of the plant off. So you can see here's the gel inside. This is what we're going to separate. We're going to cut the top of the plant off very carefully and leaving as much meat or as much gel, as much uh, flesh inside as possible. So the goal here is instead of trying to take the entire top off, instead of trying to take the entire top off in one fell swoop, I'm just actually slowly working some of the skin So that we can take it off in pieces as we go. Now you can get your fingers under there and actually you can even push, now that you've started this process, you can just push the plant itself and remove as much skin as possible. If you need the knife you can use it. I'm actually going to just push the skin. You can see now we're starting to get now we're getting the ooze. <laughs> there we go. If you want, you can scrape some of this uh, remaining flesh off the top, which I'm going to do with the knife. This is now trash. Now is the time we're going to score the flesh just to make it easier to cut away from the other side of the plant. Be very careful because as more aloe vera juice comes out, uh, the work surface can get slippery. You do not want to cut yourself. Then we'll do a uh, score it crosswise like this. Okay, now that we've scored the plant, we'll start at one end. Usually the thin end is the easiest. Oof, look how messy this is. And we'll just work our knife right along, just as we did before, keeping as close to the bottom uh, skin as possible, and just slowly work it back and forth to remove as much of the flesh as possible. This is where having a bendable, somewhat flexible, flat knife is very helpful. any uh, pieces of skin. All right, so we're going to put this gel into this uh, measuring cup so I have an understanding of how much gel there actually is. That way we know how much alcohol to add. The ratio is two to one, two parts alcohol to every one part gel. So if I have one cup of gel, then I'm using, then I'm adding two cups of alcohol. And the alcohol you want to use must be 
at least 60% alcohol is recommended by the CDC. Um, of course, I'm using grain alcohol here. That's the, what this video is about. This is 96% alcohol, 192 proof. Um, and that is certainly going to be plenty. So again, a two to one ratio. Let's get it in the cup. Okay, you can see we almost have one full cup here. Uh, so we're pretty close to a one cup to two cup alcohol ratio. Uh, now, the next step is to place this, now that we know how much we have, next step is to place this aloe vera into a blender. So this is a Vitamix blender, that's what I have, I'm going to, I'm going to put the aloe vera in this, uh, mixer, uh, mixer cup, and then of course, uh, attach the blade and mix it on top of a Vitamix. In order to do that, I'm going to first add the aloe vera. So I'm going to actually add a quarter of a cup of alcohol to this mix just so that it blends evenly. And now we're going to mix this in the blender. Let's take a look at our mix. You want to make sure there's no particulates in there. This looks like it is pretty Pretty well mixed. So right now, there's no large chunks. And uh, it looks pretty well mixed. So it, it ends up being a very liquidy product, but we are going to add the other parts of uh, alcohol to this. Now, I'm probably going to add a little bit less than two cups because I was not able to squeeze all of the aloe vera out of this, uh, all the air rather, out of the chunks of aloe vera here, so it's probably a little bit less than a cup. I mean, it was before, and it's probably around three quarters of a cup, so that's really what we're doubling. Okay, once you have your mix in your two to one ratio, uh, just be mindful that it will be very liquidy. This is far more liquid-like than most hand sanitizer that you buy in the store. However, you know, what is re really remarkable about it is that um, it takes a little while to rub into your hands, but you should continue to use it and rub it in until it's dry but once it is dry it is remarkably it works really well I'm always continually surprised at how well it works uh, my hands feel soft because of the aloe vera gel uh, it dries completely and uh, yeah and you really don't need a lot so again you're at a two, a two to one ratio we've got 96 percent alcohol inside of this particular mix so it is um, it is certainly uh, sanitizing and uh, the aloe vera makes it um, nice and smooth on your hands. So really, you know, it's totally dry at this moment. You don't need a lot. A little bit goes a very long way. And um, if you can fill up a reusable container or some sort of, maybe you have an empty soap bottle or something like that, or perhaps you have an empty sanitizer bottle from before, uh, just be aware that when you squirt it out, um, it is going to be very liquidy. So you wanna do just a little bit at a time because a little bit will go a very long way. Just tell. Whew! See? It squirts out quite a lot. But then once you get it... Again, it feels like lotion on your hands. And then that lotion dries. Then your hands dry. And it's just like you used regular sanitizer. So that's that. That's how you make uh, your own hand sanitizer with aloe vera and grain alcohol of uh, more than 70, more than 60% rather, and uh, you can have it for as long as you like. Makes quite a lot. Good luck, stay safe, sanitize your hands.